Behind me is an Onion A ski suit. Now, Onion A is a brand out of Japan and they gave me a ski suit at the beginning of the Southern Hemisphere winter to test out and try. Now, unfortunately, I only got four days to ski this year because of COVID lockdowns. However, I'd still like to give an honest review on the function, fit, style, and how the ski suit looks when demonstrating. And that part is really important to me because as a technical skier and someone that is trying to coach and teach people, how the ski suit looks and how my body is moving underneath it is really important. And that's one thing that drew me to this brand is the fact that they put that really high up on their priority list of the design and functionality of the suit. So let's check out this review of the Onion A ski suit. Now, if there is one place you can wear a bright outfit that is on the ski hill. So with style first, with these Onion A ski suits, you'll notice they have bright colors, patterns, and they're actually really intentionally designed that way to give you a certain look, and it's to accentuate ski type positions so that you can pick out in the skier what they're doing with their arms, where their arms are positioned, where their legs are positioned, and what angles are being shown up when you're skiing. And this is not only good for other people looking at you, but it's good for you when you have video taken of yourself because you can really pick out and see what's going on. Nothing is sort of uh, hidden too much. It's, it's, uh, it's really gonna show up the lower legs, the thighs, and the upper body and the arms. Onyane designed this specifically. Bright colors, placement of the colors is excellent. And as a demonstrator, I really like that. And when it comes to fit, talking with the head of marketing, he was telling me how movements made in skiing can be quite different to movements made in other sports. For example, even just like uh, walking. We don't really do much of that in skiing. It's more, more lateral motions. And so how the arms move this way, how the suit fits and, and sort of falls when you're in, angulated positions and uh, deep flexion positions is really well thought out. And I think I can really feel that. The way this suit feels when I ski and when I even just walk from the lodge out onto the resort, I can really tell uh, just, it's, it's almost like uh, it, the suit feels very light. Like there's nothing more than saying it just feels very light and very soft. So it doesn't crease up uh, around my knees, it doesn't crease up around my elbows and my shoulders, and yet it feels obviously like really warm and comfortable. And I wore this at the beginning of the ski season in Australia, and we typically, it still can be quite warm during the day there. And this suit breathed really well, even on the days where it was sort of getting plus eight degrees Celsius in the middle of the day. So I was really impressed with that, and it was really helped through well-placed ventilation zips on the inside of the legs, on the armpits. So in terms of fit and feel, pluses for a feeling of lightness, uh, soft materials, and then also ventilation and breathability. Two things I would say about functionality of this suit. For me, when I'm out skiing, I'm often out for extended periods of time and carrying heavy equipment, like this camera here. So I really appreciated the large pockets within the jacket. And the fact that when I had a camera in here, it didn't feel too bulky or look silly skiing around with this, this thing. It was, it was kind of hidden. And I think that's because of the materials and fabric they use is very soft and, uh, and sort of shape forming. So it didn't sort of bunch up like some uh, other like shell type jackets or harder material jackets can can be so being able to put a couple of cameras in different pockets my phone maybe even a snack was fantastic and you even actually have a panel at the back here to put gloves or a neck warmer or something else in in order to not stash it elsewhere. So it's really well thought out in terms of where you can store stuff. So it gets 
uh, really big thumbs up for that factor. Now the other part of functionality that's of course really important is just how the ski suit uh, moves. And I'm gonna re repeat it again, but this thing just feels so nice. Like if I compare it to the Colmar blue suit I had, that, that for the same amount of warmth, uh, it, it just felt like a lot bulkier, heavier, and, and just didn't feel like I had the freedom. This, this feels like a, I could go do a gym class and probably sweat way too much, but the movement side of things feels just really nice inside the suit. So in terms of functionality for how the suit moves and allows greater freedom, yeah, really excellent in that department. I think the one thing is I'm, I'm just still trying to nail down my exact size. I'm going next season for uh, the next size down in ski pants. These are extra large, so I'm gonna go down to a large, uh, but I think I like the size of this jacket again for storage and when I'm out skiing and I've got everything going, I think this is this size is fine. And I really like too how the, uh, the sleeves sort of fit over and, and blend into the gloves. I really don't like it when a glove is hard to fit under the, the cuff here. So, so that's really easy. It's a bit stretchy there to be able to fit your gloves under. Look of the skier when skiing in the suit. This part was probably almost <laughs> one of the major factors that drew me to this suit. The Japanese uh, skiers, there's a big culture in competing in technical competitions where they're skiing down the mountain and they're not being assessed just on time. Onyane have been in the game for a long time and so they've really thought about how that skier looks coming down the mountain. And so again, I'm talking about where panels of color are placed, why certain patterns are put there, why there's this break at the knee and a change in color down below. I think actually makes my skiing look better than in other suits. And that's just down to the fact that that's a, uh, something this brand has been working on and thinking about for years and years and years and tested through thousands of skiers. Not all the ski suits are as bright as this, and you can get some uh, a lot more sort of, not such bright colors, but still the placement of paneling will still be in those suits and the fit and cut, the fact that it won't bunch up around your knee, it'll sit nicely because of the materials they choose, that will still be in these suits. There's my summary of my thoughts around the style, function, fit, and on snow look of the Onion A ski suit. I'm a bit sad that I only got four days to ski in this suit this winter, but I look forward to heading to Canada and doing a whole lot more skiing in this suit. The, the light feel and the softness in the fabric, I, <laughs> I keep coming back to that because I've never had such a, uh, a soft suit. It's very different feel to like your Gore-Tex, uh, Patagonia, Heli Hansen kind of, um, outfits it's 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 really different you have to try it on to feel that and then finally i'm like really pleased because i've got to carry gear all around with me i can fit cameras i can fit things in the back pocket here so functionality ticks a lot of boxes i'll have to of course do the the rain test next season in australia we get days where we ski in the rain and you know so that'll be good to see how well the waterproofing holds up but in terms of, of, of finish, fit, functionality, it gives a, it gets a really big thumbs up from me. So thank you, Onyane. And I hope this was helpful in giving you uh, sort of my perspective on this ski suit. Enjoy your season.